chapter hybridization program the earth is a relatively young planet it has been visited by the galactic humans from the very beginning over a million years ago galactic humans visited the earth even of the time of dinosaurs and as it was visited the earth developed its own human uh, the, the homo sapiens the earthly primate through through the evolutionary process. The evolutionary process involves not only natural evolution, not only random mutations and selection, but also the involvement of the angelics, the elementals, and other spiritual intelligence, and occasional uh, involvement of extraterrestrials. So there are several processes happening in parallel. Natural random evolution, guided evolution by the spirit, and infusions intelligent infusions by extraterrestrials the prehistoric man on earth developed really very slowly for about half a million years the prehistoric man was using only very simple tools and fire and didn't didn't evolve didn't evolve very didn't evolve, didn't involve much at the same time the earth have been a refuge to some of the aliens and at some time, at some point in time, the Lemurian civilization has been formed. We might not have the leftovers of the civilization because it was in a different dimension. It was higher dimensional. Then Atlantean civilization was formed. The Atlantean civilization had high technology, cities, big population. And during several wars and catastrophes, it destroyed itself and downgraded from the fourth dimension to the third dimension. It lost much of its culture and much of its population. And the progress of the humanity in the third dimension started from a very low point. Yet there was some secret knowledge kept in Egypt and maybe India, maybe Americas, maybe China. Now we close the circle and come back to the point where we are ready to ascend to the fourth dimension. The aliens were certainly visiting the Earth uh, during the Atlantean civilization. They were walking on the streets and Atlantean civilization was open to the galaxy. There are stories of creation of the modern humans from the prehistorical Earth humans by different aliens. The stories include Elohim and Anunnaki. It's still unclear who biologically are Elohim and Anunnaki. It is likely that Anunnaki were reptilians. It's not clear uh, at which time period it happened. Was it in the Lemurian times, Atlantean time, or post-Atlantean times? The latest and final destruction of Atlantis happened about 23,000 years ago. What is known is that uh, modern human is, uh, is a hybrid between an earthly prehistoric primate, the early humans, and the alien. The main five alien races who contributed to, uh, to a modern human genome uh, Pleiadians, Yael, Orions, Syrians, and Elohim. Other races include Anunnaki, Reptilians, Draconians, Andromedan humans, possibly Martians, possibly Venusians, possibly Zeta Grays. I forgot to add Lyrans to the main five races. Other include Fendorians, Sasquatch, Agarthans, and Agarthans. We are told that the humanity was comprised of five major and 22 total uh, minor races. It's not clear in which order uh, the hybridization happened. Most likely, each of the human races, or for the modern human races, was created by different aliens by hybridizing their DNA into uh, uh, a Norse human, and then these races intermixed and intermingled, creating the modern human. So at this point, every human on Earth, uh, most of the humans on Earth contain all the uh, uh, descendants of all the races that contributed to the Homo sapiens. There were times on Earth when the population was very small, uh, and uh, these times are called bottlenecks. And since the growth of population and wars and migrations, most of the human genes have been uh, mixed thoroughly between the, all the humans. 
There remain only f a few isolated populations, such as Aboriginal Australians and some other um, Aboriginal people. Peoples. In all times, the aliens openly visited the Earth and often were worshipped by the humans as gods. In more recent times, uh, the aliens would uh, present themselves as um, supernatural and fairy tale beings, which essentially they are as they are from another dimension. Their hybridization into hum humanity never stopped. The bloodlines of the aliens uh, were infused in different times, including every century. Some of the human-looking aliens would fall in love with the human with the humans and uh, marry into humans and stay and live on Earth, live in the progeny, creating their bloodline. Some of them developed the technology, uh, art and philosophy. Some of them became priests and uh, teachers. Many of the talented people of, of the recent past come from the alien bloodlines. In recent time, about 66 years ago, around the year 1955, nine, around the year 1950, the secret hybridization program by the aliens received a boost, as the aliens received uh, exchanged, as it was endorsed by the by some of the Earth governments. Period. It was an alliance of Zeta Grays, Reptilians, and Orions who negotiated with American government and uh, allied governments uh, the secret right of uh, hybridizing their population. That was done in exchange for certain uh, military technologies such as uh, UFOs, propulsion and uh, free energy and teleportation and mind control technology. The agreement of the, the, the permission for the hybridization was signed by Eisenhower after the victory in World War II. Soon the, both parties violated the conditions of the agreements and uh, the agreement became essentially inactive, uh, ineffective. But the, the Earth people uh, received the technology, the Earth military received the technologies and the aliens continued their hybridization. At certain stages the hybridization program was run collectively by the aliens and the, uh, the American and the secret called Black Ops, uh, secret military in America. Uh, people were abducted, uh, civilians were abducted and subjected to alien medical procedures, um, examinations and hybridization. The abductees uh, saw uh, American military, uh, reptilians, Orions, uh, and uh, tall grays and short grays working in uh, in the same p facilities. Some of the facilities were on Earth, and some of the facilities were off Earth, off the planet. Some of the facilities were in space. For the first about 50 years, the hybridization were pretty traumatic to the humans. The aliens and the humans who ha who did the work were one friendly, aggressive caused unnecessary suffering and treated badly not only the, the human abductees but also the uh, hybrids. The initial failure rate in, in uh, hybridization was high, so many uh, hybrid children were deficient. The initial purpose of the hybridizations was also negative. The Zeta Grays and Reptilians created the hybrid people and infused the hybrid DNA back into the humans on Earth, uh, thus created hybrids on Earth who were unaware of their hybridization. They also used implants to track their hybrids on Earth and some of the mind control technologies to control them, uh, um, to partly control them. The purpose of this was to take, uh, to, to take over the control of the Earth. The grades are known for their tactics of quietly infusing uh, the population of the of different planets with their genetics, making them linked to their mind and mind control and using that to take over the, uh, the planets. As far as we know, this plan has been stopped about 10 years ago, around 2006-2010. Uh, the Friends of Humanity Galactic Federation of Light and um, Girl Fitnier 
and Ashtar Command established their military presence in the solar system and forced uh, the, the Zeta Grays, uh, the negative reptilians, and the, Ari the Orions to leave the, the solar system. And since, and since this time, uh, the Earth is prote protected from negative attacks and uh, attempts of um, and from the attempts of negative aliens to conquer the Earth. Negative Anunnaki and Draconians were also expelled from the Earth. Until the time the Reptilians and Orions controlled the top of the military and the top of the financial sectors. It seems like now they have been expelled and only humans remain in control of this. Earth humans remain in control of these sectors. All the, the negative reptilian, negative the hybrid Although the negative hybridization program was done with negative purposes and with negative means, it, since, and it still produced some of the positive results. It created human star seeds who have alien genes, reptilian, zeta, and others. And these humans uh, possess advanced abilities, have some four dimensional abilities, some telepathic, psychic, telekinetic abilities and uh, have the connections to the extraterrestrial races, have the telepathic and psychic connections to the extraterrestrial races. Also, hybrid species have been created off, away from Earth, and uh, these hybrid species are descendants from Earth humans and other alien races. And these hybrid species, they work, uh, they, they live in a 4D, in fourth dimension, and um, the, uh, are embra embracing alien cultures. Uh, many of them are very friendly to humanity and, uh, and are eager to help humans in uh, our ascension. In addition to negative hybridization program, there was also a positive hybridization program done by friendly advanced aliens who didn't want to take over the earth but wanted to help us. They would usually ask the permission of the human volunteers to take their uh, to take their genetic material and to take them to their ships for the uh, for the purposes of hybridization. The process of hybridization uh, involves uh, two steps where the humans are needed. First, it is actually three steps. Three steps when the humans are needed. First, uh, it is necessary to obtain the genetic material, and uh, ideally this genetic material should be fresh. This would be the sperm from the males and the eggs of the e e eggs from the f females, and the germline cells from the female. So the second thing is that the healthiest hybrids were obtained by allowing their fetus, hybrid fetus to to grow for the first several weeks in the weeks in the womb of their uh, human mother, so females were taken for the operations. Then uh, the you know, impregnated with hybrid uh, hybrid um, cells, um, hybrid embryos. They were returned to Earth and. Um, and the embryos and the fetus was allowed to grow for a few weeks before taken to the alien space, to the alien incubator. Then uh, the fetuses could develop in alien incubators and, um, and te technologically and would be born there. Sometimes the hybrid fetuses would be um, carried by the alien or hybrid mothers in alien space and be born, uh, be born there. Uh, most of the humans, uh, the memory of the most of the abductees was manipulated so the people would not remember the abductions. But uh, with years, people would recollect the uh, wiped memories. The memories would surface and people would remember the abductions. And this allowed us, the humanity, to restore the story of the abductions and the habitation program, which was confirmed later by... Uh, by the channelings and by the visitors who visited the places and and kept the memories. Th and the third place where humans are needed for the hybridization program 
is that um, the children born in alien space uh, feel out of place. So the aliens, especially the friendly ones, would bring human volunteers to serve as uh, babysitters and to play with children and to educate them so the children would feel uh, the human warmth and become healthier and become more accustomed to Earth's humans' traditions. Uh, the hybridization program by the friendly Yael and Pleiadians continues to these days. Uh, now only the volunteers donate genetic materials, only volunteers uh, participate in um, in uh, uh, education of uh, in all on all steps of the hybridization programs. Uh, the hybrids uh, live in alien space and uh, they have all the rights of the aliens and they are fully free free to move around and, and are free to and they have free access to alien information. The hybrids um, live in the alien culture, Pleiadian or Yale culture, but they also learn the human culture and um, are eager to help the humanity and to visit the earth when they're permitted to visit. Some of them are capable of living on earth for a long for a prolonged period of time. The aliens that work with the humans in the hybridization program have developed the understanding of the humans and have developed the compassion. They even modify themselves to be more like humans so they would understand the human psychology. Uh, the success rate of the hybridization program now is very high so the, uh, and the medicine is on very high level so the hybrids uh, produced by the hybridization are healthy and um, have uh, good creative uh, good create good and creative lives in addition to the hybrids which are which exist in uh, in alien worlds there are also earth humans who have migrated from the earth in different times and have human genetics some of the humans were taken as slaves uh, in the times of Jesus 2,000 years ago uh, and um, they were taken as slaves from Earth to the Pleiadian planet Era but since then that time the slavery was abolished and they, they, were, they received the rights of the citizens of Era so uh, fully genetic so completely human so the the humans with unaltered earthly genetics exist in the fourth dimension are uh, fully telepathic and fully capable of uh, being equal citizens of the alien worlds and the king of era Kenjin is uh, one of those humans he is fully genetically human uh, there are also human civilizations in Andromeda who are also genetically human. Uh, th there are in Andromeda galaxy who are also genetically human. One of the positive outcomes of the hybridization programs is the appearance on Earth of star seeds, indigo children, and crystal children. Star seed by the name uh, are the people who have been seeded from the stars. Those usually would be the people who have partially alien genetics but also they might have alien uh, past lives of the soul so there would be not only the genetic connection but the soul connection to the stars as well indigo children uh, are usually defined as those who have the indigo color of the aura which corresponds to high spiritual development connection to the higher dimensions of the spiritual worlds such as high dimensions and God, high development of higher chakras of the body and certain psychic ability. Uh, crystal children is another name for the newly appearing generation of humans who have advanced um, design of the spiritual body of the chakras and uh, have uh, advanced psychic abilities. The world the word crystal symbolizes the idea of purity and advanced design. The term indigo children is usually used to express the idea that indigo children are not compliant with the society and have trouble to fit in the society, while crystal children 
could be well socializing and uh, fully engaged in the communication in the society. The indigo children would behave like revolutionaries while and, get, and get in trouble, while crystal children would change their their reality through evolutionary ways. Although these terms are mixed together and usually ex uh, uh, used uh, interchangeably, star seeds, crystal children, and indigo children, the idea that the humanity will will evolve in a new species have been. Uh, prophesized in different historical times. One of the clearest uh, prophecies was done by Blavatsky about 136 years ago in her book published, uh, sorry, 126 years ago uh, in her books published around 19, uh, 1890, 1890. There he, she clearly outlines the, Atlant the uh, Lemurian race, the Atlantean race, uh, the involvement of extraterrestrials in seeding the uh, new genetics on Earth, and uh, she prophesies the development of the next, as she calls, the sixth uh, human race. So the appearance of uh, star seeds, crystal, and indigo children is clearly aligned with the idea of the prophecies that the humanity will develop in a new species. And the channeled uh, alien communications explain that the main quality of this new humanity is the ability for telepathic com communication. That ability is essential for, for the creation of the new level of communication for much faster transfer of, of information and much better collective coordination. With, with telepathy, it is impossible, it is much more difficult to lie. The normal human deceptions become impossible. And a new level of thinking and collective cooperation becomes natural. It is predicted that the humanity will develop telepathy, it will awaken to the idea of telepathy. And in a few generations, the humanity will pick up the telepathy, and that telepathy will allow us to link together, as many other alien races did, and to ascend to the fourth dimension. That linkage would uh, develop the new level of consciousness which is not possible without the telepathy. And that consciousness will con conclude the transformation and be the main tool for the ascension. Therefore, the hybridization program and the infusion of alien genes which are more conducive to telepathy has served the humanity for, uh, for the development of the telepathy and for, to help the humanity to ascend. The end of the chapter hybridization program.